All right. If you're watching this, you must be a human. And if you're human, you have had the experience of breaking up with someone in the past. Maybe now you broke up with someone, maybe in the future. It happens. It goes with the territory and it always, always sucks. It's emotionally difficult. No one likes to break up. Even if they're the ones doing the breaking up for great reasons, it's still awful. And it takes time to get over someone. So today I'm going to tell you three things not to do if you break up with someone and you want to get over them. And the last one is especially important. It's the one that people think about the least and actually they don't even think about it at all. But let's start with the first thing not to do when you break up with someone. Guess what that is? Yeah, don't follow them on social media. Don't stalk them. Don't pay attention to anything they do. Just completely scrub your environment of their presence. What is the point of snooping in their lives if you broke up with them or if they broke up with you? That's even worse. If they broke up with you and you're like going around checking out what they're doing and comparing yourself to like your life with them versus their life with someone else or by themselves. No, no, no. That's like adding salt to a wound. Why do you do that? Block them, unfollow them. Just straight up tell them, don't contact me for, for a while. I don't even want to hear from you. Remember, social media is where people put the best pictures they can find of themselves. They feature their lives in the most positive way. That's not how actually people live. If everybody lived the way they portray portrayed it on social media, we'd all be one happy family in the world. No one's going to have any problems. We'd be just amazing. It's not like that. So do not follow them on social media. Do not stalk them. Do not look for emotional trouble. Do not do it. Okay. Number two, what not to do <laughs> to get over someone. Number two, do not reach out. I get it. You're sitting at home, you feel lonely, especially, okay, this happens especially when you are the one breaking up with someone. You feel guilty, maybe. You start doubting whether or not you did the right thing. You know, it's late at night, all your friends are out doing something fun and you're at home by yourself oh my god at least i had someone before and you start feeling goofy or you're like looking through the social media which you're not supposed to do but you are doing it and they're still single and they're starting to look good because they've been working out or whatever and you're like hey how's it going you send the text message and, and you try to reconnect in little ways. Or you go where they go, hoping to bump into them. Don't do that. Like, you broke up for a reason, okay? Unless that reason no longer exists, you don't really even have a reason to talk to that person. So, in a place of loneliness and weakness and self-doubt and all that stuff you feel mushy on the inside you want to reach out and get like instant gratification the person might respond oh i was thinking about you too so you like make a story in your head of you know how that interaction might go and you remember the good times people always remember things wrong ways Trust me, like there's tons of research on memory. We never remember things exactly how they happen. We either remember them worse or remember them best. We just forget, like we remember how we felt. We don't really remember how it went. 
yeah, fact, fact check me if you like. <laughs> But memory is a very slippery thing. <laughs> so it's likely that you remember the best the most and you kind of reminiscing for the best and kind of forgetting about all the things you didn't like about them, how they stank or they were rude or whatever. So anyways, you reach out, you reach out. Why? And then like, you know, best case scenario, they don't respond to you. So like, okay, you're done with that. Worst case scenario, they do respond to you and you start going back and forth and then and then you're like, oh shit, now you start feeling like maybe I shouldn't have done that or you decide to give it another try and it's just like not working. So, like I said, if you broke up with somebody for good reasons, you're going to break up with them again. I had a friend of mine that basically had to do three tries and it became a joke. Every time he dated a girl, you know, whatever didn't work out, they broke up and I'll be like, okay, you got two more to go. <laughs> and inevitably, like a few months go by, they, you know, reconnect. And then, okay, a few months go by and they break up again. I'm like, okay, one more time, one more time. <laughs> and sure enough, they will go around the second time and the third time. <laughs> and I'll be like, seriously, man, you like totally know your pattern. Like, why do you do the same thing three times in a row? Again, again, and again. <laughs> Anyways, don't be like that. He's still single, by the way. <laughs> oh, that waste of time. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I shouldn't laugh at him. But I've never done it. If I break up with somebody, I never go back. It's like, no, no, no. I've been there. I've done that. Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> Maybe it will be friends eventually. Long time from now, you know, it, there's like a period of time where you like, you got to settle in your own thing before maybe becoming friends. If you ever do, <laughs> usually I don't. Anyways, so don't go back. Don't try to reconnect if you feel weak. And you need to talk to someone, call a friend, call somebody you can trust, call your therapist, oh, hug your dog, uh, borrow a dog if you don't have one, call a friend, can I borrow your dog, borrow a dog, <laughs> anyways, so that will just set you back, it will waste your time, it's almost like you got this far emotionally, and then you reconnect with the person. It's like two steps forward. And then you reconnect with the person and you go backwards. One step, two steps, who knows how many steps. Emotionally and time-wise, you're just like dancing this weird valves with yourself going backwards and forwards. So it's just not healthy. It doesn't allow you to really disconnect it's sort of like eh, unfinished business out there tentacles spreading out don't do it not good for your mental health the third thing i promised you the third thing is the thing no one thinks about healing getting over someone takes time you can't wake up the next day and like you're okay i'm good I need to go do shit. No, oops, sorry. <laughs> you get the point. It takes time. Healing takes time. You need to grieve. Even if you like hated the person by the time you broke up with them, you still need to grieve. It's, a, it's natural. This thing, this person, that life, that connection that was there, it's not there. It takes a while for that space to fill up with yourself, with your own narrative, with your own life, preferences, hobbies, friends. Often when we're with someone, we like share friends, share life experiences, share activities, and then we break up. And now what do we do? Most common what people do is they hurry up and they go out there and they party and they try to be this awesome person and they post it all over social media or whatever. No, like you just kind of like putting frosting on top of a rotten potato. Like really? No, you need to chill out. You need to feel the feelings and let all the feelings come out. And so sometimes you'll be angry. Sometimes you'll be sad. Sometimes 
you'll be distracted like your mind can't really sustain the same thought or emotion for very long it will meander around and do other things whatever just chill it cool it relax for a little bit go do something nice for yourself i mean i'm not saying being like self-indulgent but being self healthy <laughs> you be the one that starts working out you know adopt the dog uh, go on the hikes um you know do things that are good for you maybe there was something you always wanted to do but you didn't do it because you were with this person well hello here's your chance um you know what i'm saying just don't rush the process feel what's happening within you feel the transformation if you don't allow the time you need to feel whole again and you're gonna know when you get there because you feel fragmented at first you feel very emotional you feel confused conflicted um maybe your self-esteem takes a dive all those things okay so when you have enough time for yourself patience you get to a point when you start feeling different you you know you're different suddenly you notice okay i'm not so emotional when i think about this person i forget about them for days on first when you break up with somebody you can't stop thinking about them it's like every minute your brain's like Woo! either remembering something you did you said you guys did you guys said conversations places or what you should have done could have done would have done it's like your brain is like attached to them like with a freaking umbilical cord i i think i said another bad word i'm sorry <laughs> so that's what happens when you first break up you are totally attached to that person after a while you start noticing that you are not that attached to them like your thoughts go other places your thoughts want to do other things you're you're more concerned with your friends and your next adventure and whatever then you actually like so the person doesn't even enter your mental space and then that's how you know you're ready to open up the door for other relationships possibly if you don't fully grieve if you don't um allow enough time for things to happen the residue of this relationship will go with you into your next relationship especially if you hurry up into one so i have a substack um life intelligence on substack with valentina petrova and i just wrote about this in more detail so if you want more intelligent inf information without the bad words you head over to my substack i'll put the link the information down below in the description for now i just want you to be patient with yourself educate yourself spend time looking for what's important to you spend time kind of contemplating meditating whatever you want to call it however you want to spend your time in a healthy way in a healthy way don't hit the bottle don't start experimenting with drugs don't rush to another into another relationship hey look i just gave you a whole bunch of other don'ts <laughs> on top of the three i promise anyways that's all i have for you today if you're in a breakup situation right now my heart goes out to you i know how you feel i wish i could give you a big hug and support you that way but hopefully this was healthy, healthy, helpful, uh, informative, educational. And again, you can check me out on Substack. I write about relationships all the time. And I'll see you next time on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.